Biologists filmed the sick saiga antelope as it struggled to breathe and stay on its feet. Eventually it succumbed, one of many, to the symptoms of a viral livestock plague called peste petit rumino, or PPR. More than 4,000 saiga have died since goats and sheep in Mongolia first caught the disease last year. Scientists think the disease was spread from China. This morning. Field biologists and rangers could do little to contain the disease in the wild, beyond collecting and burying carcasses, while vets vaccinated domestic animals. A big challenge we're facing is that we have a vast area to cover, with the very few wildlife rangers and biologists, and very little funds to do so. The saiga is thought to have roamed the Eurasian grasslands since the Ice Age. Mongolian saiga are a smaller subspecies of the Eurasian variety. They live only in Mongolia and are notoriously shy. While about 100,000 saiga left globally, there were only about 13,000 Mongolian saiga before this outbreak. And with so many still dying, the future is grim for this critically endangered antelope. Sick and solitary saiga lie dying on the grasslands. Wildlife vets say the spread of the disease is slowing, but there's another threat, a parasite which killed at least 200,000 saiga in Kazakhstan two years ago. After this outbreak, we don't know if there is secondary bacterial infections, like the outbreak in Kazakhstan may occur, because the PPR really drops the immunity. Nomadic tribes and wildlife have shared these grasslands for centuries, but pressure is increasing. The number of livestock surpassed 60 million last year. Herders are competing with wildlife for food and space. Our government released a decree stating that herders should not set up their spring caps and let their livestock enter Saiga pasture lands. But it's really hard to enforce. Where else can they live and graze their livestock? Scientists expect 80% of the local Saiga population to die of the disease by the end of spring in May. That's more than 10,000 animals. The hope is enough survive for the species to recover some time in the future. Pearly Jacob, Al Jazeera, Gobi Altai, Mongolia.